for me, it's nothing short of a Disney movie. It's just, it's absolutely incredible. And when you incorporate the fact that last season we had Patty Mills doing a similar thing in the point guard position, two, you know, sort of not not gifted by height or athleticism or any of these things, uh, having such a, a, a massive impact on the world stage. Huge for Australian basketball. He did this in college uh, for St Mary's, Della yeah. Vadova. Shots like these. Mm -hmm. um, tell us about the, the jump between uh, college, uh, particularly the college uh, system he was in, and yeah. the NBA, and why you call it a Disney movie. Well, it's just, the, the jump is just ginormous basically. I mean he was playing mid-major college which is sort of middle of the pack, uh, you know, not, not the, the Dukes and Kansases uh, of the college system. So for him to, uh, to you know, to, first of all to make it to the NBA from a college like that is an incredible feat but then to be putting on a performance like this and sort of capturing the world it's just phenomenal. And the, his, his shot, I mean this is the sort of stuff that, yeah. um, that the American media particularly is just amazed by. Yeah. Um, People who are watching that who follow football codes in this country probably yeah. will look and go, well, OK, well, if the ball's on the ground, you would die for it. That's uh, it. Tell us about the cultural differences there. That's, uh, and I think that's why the, the Americans are really falling in love. I mean, the Wall Street Journal uh, put out a, uh, an article the other week saying that every NBA basketball team needs an Australian because of this style of play. You know, they're just not used to it. They get paid that much money. They're not used to risking their bodies to, to injuries by jumping on the floor like that. Whereas uh, out here, it's part and parcel of the game, you know. Uh, you know, any coach out here will tell you that um, you know they want all their players to be first guy on the floor, and, and that's what Daly's grown up doing. LeBron James has been the headline act, of course. Mm. Um, it's, it's easy to, uh, to to focus on the Aussie because you know why not? And, and he's doing stuff that um, no one has done from Australia. But um, LeBron James, tell me, is he the best basketballer ever? Is he about to go past Michael Jordan with his, this feat in the in the NBA Finals? Well, look, he's still got a little ways to go. Jordan has, has the six rings. I think uh, LeBron's only got the three currently. So, I mean, getting this one would, would set him along that path to be able to sort of ca catch MJ. Um, the performance he's putting in in this, in this series so far over these three games is, is, in my opinion, the best uh, performance in a, in, in a Finals uh, in a final setting the NBA has ever seen. So if he can keep this going and, and come away with a title here, uh, I think he'll, he'll really set himself along that path to catch MJ. And to people who, um, who don't watch the NBA religiously, he started the year with four different players. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a couple of big time players who got yeah. injured. Now he's got four other players. What's, you know, what's the significance there? Well, that's right. At the start of the year, he went to Cleveland and he went back to his hometown. And it was all about the big three, Kyrie Irving, Kevin Love and himself were going to you know, uh, make their run at the playoffs. He's lost two, two of those potential all-stars in Love and, and Irving, and it doesn't even matter. And I think this just proves that it, uh, it's the big one. That's all that matters. You know, If you've got LeBron on your team, you're a chance to take out the title. I just want to play you a, a, a short piece from uh, Della Vadova's press conference. Uh, yeah, it was... A, he first gives a report on his medical condition after he's uh, released from hospital and then some guy asks him a, an interesting question. Uh, let's take a listen. I was there for a little bit, but uh, mainly just to, to rest up and recover. Um, we'll, we'll all take it pretty easy today just to, you know, get our treatment and, and we've watched tape and things like that. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll be ready to go tomorrow. Lowell Cohn, Santa Rosa Press Democrat. Matthew, are you an annoying player? Am I an annoying player? Yeah. Well, I've never played against myself, so. <laughs> uh, but. Um, would you find yourself annoying? Yeah, I, th I think I, I would. He handles the media very well <laughs> as well. He's, he's quite dry. But, um, Tommy, you run uh, probably Australia's uh, most uh, well, favourite basketball website, Downtown. Yeah. Um, have you ever been shocked by the amount of uh, uh, people getting behind Matthew Della Vadova? As we maybe uh, churn through a couple of the, the memes we've seen, um, oh, well, look, tell, us, tell us about this, this uh, phenomenon online yeah, as well. Yeah, look, I, I'm not so much shocked because of, like I said before, you know, it's, it truly is a Disney story when you factor in everything he's had to overcome. He's an undrafted player who, you know, he just he, he got himself into an NBA camp. The coach fell in love with him. He was there to be a backup. He's worked himself into now starting in the NBA Finals, and not only starting in the NBA Finals, but he's the second biggest factor in these NBA Finals behind LeBron James. You yeah. know, the work he's done on Steph Curry, uh, slowing, you know, this season's MVP, slowing him down and, and forcing him into, I think, averaging six turnovers a game during the, these playoffs. 
Um, it's, it's just phenomenal. So I'm not so surprised that everyone's, yeah. everyone's jumped on board. And just one final question. Something that is peculiar to, uh, to American sports, and we don't see it here, mm. it's played over seven games. Mm. Has the young Aussie got it in his body? Is, he, is his body going to hold up to the amount of work that he's now doing that he wasn't previously doing? Well, look, the trip to uh, the Cleveland Hospital after ga Game 3 would possibly suggest that maybe not, but yeah. uh, I really hope so because, uh, I mean, he... I think he's got the right mindset to get through it and he was cramping up during that game three and he managed to play through. So mm. if anyone can do it, Dale again.